Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and if I've learned anything along the way, it's that wood is flavor. Good flavors, like when we have clean burning combustion in our offset or our pizza oven, and bad flavors if we get a smoldering fire that's struggling along, kind of flashback to 10, 15 years ago when I was just learning and many of you have reached out uh, and mentioned you're struggling the same, where we add too much wood and it's not burning cleanly and we get flavor. Not necessarily a good flavor and one what we want, but we definitely get flavor with wood. And so I was blown away earlier this year when I pit the Komodo Joe with the Dojo accessory installed head to head against my pizza oven that I bought last year. This is a La Piazza Piccolo wood fired oven. And I thought that this would be a really close fight because for a couple hundred bucks, the Dojo turns our Komodo Joe into a pizza oven. In fact, this is one of the reasons I love Komodos uh, in terms of all the different styles of grills because you can get so much out of them. We can have a smoker to a grill to a pizza oven. But when I did my head-to-head -head against my La Piazza Piccolo wood-fired oven, it just was coming a little bit short on flavor. Turned out a great, perfectly cooked pizza, but the wood flavor in my La Piazza Piccolo wood-fired oven was just next level. And so I wanna see if I can close the gap between the dojo and something like a standalone pizza oven by switching from charcoal for fuel to wood. But before we do that, let me tell you about the dough. Today's dough is no ordinary dough. This is one of the most popular dough recipes on YouTube with nearly 7 million views. So I'm gonna take you back to yesterday, show you how it comes together. I'm using Vito's recipe and I'll give you a sort of a 30 second digest as well as uh, notes down in the description below if you wanna make this at home. And it turns out an absolutely amazing dough. When I rejoin you, we'll get ready to fire up our dough, start building some heat and adding wood for flavor. So for today's setup, we're gonna break our cook into two parts, heat and flavor. Cause even though we're gonna get some of that YouTube money, an average video only makes enough to buy about two bags of this. It's about $30 a piece. And I don't wanna burn through all my wood just trying to get our Big Joe up to temperature. So I'm gonna steal a page from the Soul Stove Pie where you guys give me an idea. Start with charcoal and then add wood for flavor. It worked great there. And I think it's gonna work just as well here. So I'm gonna start by adding a base of Fogo for fuel. Grab my Grow Blazer grill gun and fire that up till we have a nice hot coal bed to work with. Wait till our temperatures on the outside come all the way up to 450 degrees. And then we're gonna drop our dojo in and let that start to recover as well as close the top vent. This is a really important uh, part. I get a lot of questions, so it's worth repeating. Sorry if you've already heard it, but if you don't close your top vent, all the heat is just going up and you say, James, I can't reach anything like what you're seeing, 400, 500, 600, or the max 700 degrees using the dojo. That's because all your heat, all your fuel is going straight up the top. So once we're at 450, we're gonna close that top vent all the way and we will adjust and control temperatures from this point forward using only the bottom vent. This is where we're gonna face our first obstacles. We wanna switch from heat with charcoal to wood for flavor. So I'm gonna need some high heat gloves. The dojo on the Big Joe is not uh, light and you want something that you can set that safe on. So I have a concrete surface, uh, so I'm able to do that, but we're gonna have to remove it with some high heat gloves, set it down, add our wood for flavor, wait for that to be combusting and burning nice and clean. We install our dojo back on, and we'll be ready uh, to cook our pizza. Let me take you back a little bit earlier when I did another clip uh, in better uh, daylight, <laughs> thanks winter, uh, and I'll show you how we're gonna make our pizza and we'll rejoin you. We'll be ready to get them on and see how our first wood-fired pizza on the dojo actually tastes. Okay, we've got some fresh mozzarella. Let's prepare this. Make some slices about a quarter of an inch thick. Do the same thing the other way and repeat with these next two. Perfect, let's get out our pizza dough. Cut open our dough package here. Place that upside down in the flour, toss. And now let's press it out. Try and push those 
air bubbles out to the edge. Stretch it out. Add our sauce. Get a little bit of olive oil on our fingers and just put that on the outside around the crust. A little bit of fresh grated Parmesan, our mozzarella. Slide this onto our peel. Let's get our pizza in our oven. So ever slight modification to our game plan. I was thinking since I last left you, one of the things I'm a little bit worried about with using wood in the dojo is controlling our temperature. When we add wood, just like in my offset or on the pizza oven, once it combusts, our temperatures shoot up. And then as that wood is consumed, your temperatures drop. So when you cook on offset, you tend to see sort of more of these spikes and valleys than you do the flat line that I can achieve in the Joe. But with the wood chunks in particular, the thing that I'm concerned about here is getting a bit of a temperature spike uh, and then that wood being consumed even before I can get the pizza on because I know this was the case with my solo stove pie is that the amount of wood that I need to get enough temperature uh, and how long it lasts is only enough to do about a pizza and that is uh, in the blink of an eye. So the idea that I have here instead of me being using wood chunks is to see if I can get away with a wood split. This will solve one problem but potentially create another. The problem that it's going to solve is how quick the wood chunks will be consumed to the point where by the time we get our dojo stable and up to temperature, assemble our pizza and go back, the temperatures will already be on that downward slope and are not going to be putting that BTU and that nice clean flame up into the top of our dome, which is going to help give us that crust and that finish that we're after. The problem that this might create is temperature control. So once this uh, combusts and uh, wants to run away with temperatures, we may have a hard time staying below the maximum 700 degree Fahrenheit limit that the dojo has. I'm gonna give it a try. We're burning our fogo. I only put a little bit down, so we're gonna have a small coal bed. And I think what I'll do is the same thing I do with my offset where I put my wood splits on the shelf, let them preheat so they combust immediately once we place them on the wood. I've just slid a piece of wood inside of our dojo so that it's getting hot drying out so we are ready to remove everything and drop that piece of wood down into that coal bed that it should combust just like that and hope uh, that one piece of wood is not too much for being able to control our temperatures. So that's the adjustment to the game plan. We're nearly there. I'll join you in a second. We're ready to pull off the dojo, drop in our wood, put it back, make our pizza and get it on to see how we did. We have a lot more smoke, but taking a look, it looks like our fire is burning clean, both down low as well as when I peek inside the dojo. So I think that's just those wood splits. Let's see where we're at for a temperature range. I'm sitting right around on our stone, about 540 degrees. I think we are good. Again, we could let it go a little bit more, but I'm about three quarters open on the bottom draft door and holding right around 650 at the dome. Let's grab our pizza, get it in. Let's take a look. So while our dough looks soft and crunchy, which is, I think, thanks to Vito, I'm a little concerned about the color. Bottom looks okay, but this, <laughs> this looks like a smoked uh, pizza. We're getting nice, clean flames, but a lot of smoke. Like here's a little clip here, just so you can see up into the lights, what the smoke looks like. And that's exactly what our dough and cheese <laughs> looks like. So. I'm still gonna give it a taste test just in case it's not terrible, but I don't have a good feeling. Let's get a slice out of here. I'm nervous about this one. Let's see. Could be just our eyes deceiving us. <laughs> I've used the analogy before of over smoking, being like going into a forest after a rainstorm and licking a tree. And somehow that's still more appetizing than this pizza. Oh gosh. I'm gonna rinse my mouth one sec. That's terrible. That's, that's, if not the worst pizza, the worst thing I've ever made in 15 years of Kamado grilling and cooking. I, you know what? I think maybe this is more user error uh, by adding those two wood splits. I, I'm gonna give this one more try. We're gonna actually just let that die down. I've opened the vent at the top to let smoke out uh, and dial the bottom vent. So we're gonna try and let that burn out. And I'm gonna go back to plan A, which is what we started with. We said we were gonna start with 
is only adding one or two of these small wood chunks for flavor and let them burn open. So I'm gonna repeat the process. I'll rejoin you in a couple minutes. I'm gonna let that die down, remove the dojo, add one or two of these for our wood flavor. Once I'm sure that this is fully consumed and gone, we're not gonna do this again because I can't make you watch me try and even remotely taste that a second time. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I'd say second verse, just like the first, but we don't want it anything like the first. All right, moment of truth. Oh, that certainly looks more promising. Let's move it over to the table. It's certainly better, but not perfect. I think I didn't take a, another stone temperature, but I think with all those direct flames coming up, we maybe uh, got our stone a little hotter than what we want since the bottom is just a little bit overdone, but our crust here, some good crunch, still soft inside. This is, this is far more promising than last time. I will at least eat this one. Let's, slice. let's slice it open, see how we did. Good bounce, crunch. Not too bad on the bottom. Let's dive in for a taste test. See how we did. Cheers. So after our last atrocity, this seems like an olive branch of forgiveness. It's a hundred times better. Is it, um, you know, sort of getting up to that level of, you know, wood fired, uh, you know, pizza oven flavor. It's still just not delivering that full flavor. I think, you know, now that we are able to dial it down by going with one or two splits, or sorry, small chunks, those are dehydrated chunks. Uh, this is not imparting the same level of flavor. And I'm still getting a little bit of that dirty smoke. It doesn't look near as bad. It's not <laughs> black pizza and black cheese. Um, and you know, if you wanted something different than charcoal, you, this is maybe sort of in the realm of possible, you could do it, but I'd be ill advised here just to overlook the safety, practical, uh, you know, limitations of doing this with the dojo first, you know, we have lifting out a very hot dojo with hot ceramics, hoping those bottom tabs don't give out. And we drop either our pizza stone or our ceramics you know, on our feet, on the stone uh, everywhere, getting them back in melting gloves, and then trying to manage the fire to not have a pizza turn out absolutely awful in order to get one that's just okay. I can't say I recommend this. In fact, my next video that I was hoping to do after this, thinking that this might have solved the gap with the wood dojo, and you can see my La Piazza Piccolo oven going, is I was planning to do a head-to-head, -head, assuming that this would have closed the gap, and I could do a wood-fired pizza on the dojo versus a wood-fired pizza on my pizza oven. And we're not gonna do that. We're, <laughs> we're gonna turn off the lights, shut down the cameras, pack everything up. I'm gonna cook some pizzas on my wood-fired pizza oven, and that's what we're gonna eat for dinner. Uh, so I must stress, do not try this at home for many safety, if not health concerns. Well, you win some, you lose some. I thought I'd make a little bit further into 2023 without a fail, but like this goes, this is up there. That was bad. I hope, uh, I hope you never try this and somehow you enjoyed this video more than I enjoyed that last pizza. I'm James from Spoken Dad Barbecue signing off. And remember, don't be afraid to fire it up with charcoal in a dojo with charcoal.